In this video, we'll make a teacup with a frog inside it. First, I'm going to right click on the title and choose Do Not Capture Design History. That means I'll be direct modeling, not parametric modeling. And for a simple project like this, I think it will make things easier. Click on Circle, Center Diameter, click on the horizontal plane. I'm going to put the center of the circle at the origin and then type 80 for the diameter. Stop sketch, select and right click, press pull, pull it up, and then drag this handle to taper the cup. Then click OK. Select the top, right click, shell, and then drag a thickness. I'm dragging five millimeters. Then select and right click the bottom, press pull, and once again, I'm going to drag five millimeters to give some thickness to the bottom of the teacup. Select the edges, hold the shift key down to make multiple selections, then right click on one of them and choose fill it. Then fill it those edges and this curves them. Now we need a handle. Click Sketch, Spline, click on a vertical plane, and then draw the handle. You can drag any of these contact points to adjust the curve. Click Stop Sketch. And now we need a circle that's perpendicular to this end. Click Sketch, Circle, Center Diameter, and now click on this vertical plane. Click the center and click a diameter. And stop Sketch. It's here at the origin, a little hard to see, so I need to move it forward. When I right click and choose Move Copy, this happens. It's stuck at the origin, and that's because a constraint is there. So I'm going to right click and delete. Let's see if I can move it now. There we go. So move it to the end of the spline. And now we're going to sweep it along the spline. So click Create, Sweep, select the circle, click Path, select the path, and there's our handle. It looks like this part needs a little bit of tweaking. So I'm going to select it, right click, choose move, and then tweak it. In fact, I think I'm going to push it back a little bit more. And now I'll select it again, right click, and move it into the teacup. And it looks like I can move it back that makes a bit more of an interesting handle.
Hmm, this is kind of more of a soup bowl than a teacup, but that's okay. Now I want to combine the cup and the handle. So I'll click on Modify, Combine, click on the cup, click on the handle, the operation is on Join, and click OK. Now when I click on Body, the whole thing highlights. Let's bring in something from Thingiverse now to put at the bottom of it. How about a frog? Let's download this one and then import it. Insert, Insert Mesh. We need to reposition it. And we could probably scale it down a bit. And there you have it.